What's going on boys, if you read the title, obviously we have a different style of video. I'm gonna be surprising my first ever full-time employee, media buyer, head of service delivery with a trip to Canada to celebrate the end of the year. Now, I don't just wanna make it that easy. Like you, you saw in the title, I'm gonna be pretending to fire him first. So we have our morning meetings every single day from Monday to Friday at 8.30 a.m. It's around eight o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go into this meeting and just pretend like he did a lot of stuff wrong. So. We just onboarded a new client. I'm gonna bring up some stuff that was wrong with that. I'm gonna pretend like an ad account went way over budget and I have to front it. So what I'm gonna do is just pretend like I'm basically firing him and removing him from the position. It's gonna be very, very difficult to keep a straight face and not smile while during this. But yeah, I didn't just wanna surprise him with the trip because that's no fun. So we're gonna jump into the morning, morning meeting. I'm gonna record it and I'm just gonna chat with him for a bit at the start and then pretend to basically fire him and then surprise him with the trip. So yeah, we crushed this year, it's been great. So I want to, to celebrate by doing something fun at the end of the year. You gotta celebrate all the wins and enjoy the journey. Uh, that's been one of my biggest things is just trying to enjoy the journey. I've heard a lot of entrepreneurs and everyone say that uh, they miss, you know, not just being present in the moment, enjoying everything throughout the entire process of trying to start your own business and scale it. So uh, yeah, long story short, we're gonna be going to Kuta Can soon and let's jump into this meeting. Oh, I like the background. What's going on? Too much. How was the morning? Fucking shitty. You're getting, I'm actually getting so tired of waking up. My fucking sinuses are just brutal and having to move free all night. Because the freaking dog? Yeah, and this fucking this house, man. It's actually getting so fucking annoying. It's pissing me off. <laughs> waking up and just not being able to breathe? I'm just mouth breathing all night. Like, I can feel just like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just my terrible. Mouth, my mouth is so dry. My fucking cheeks are swollen up from it. Got to do the the face, the, the ice and the water and put your face in, in the morning. Yeah, honestly. Or just grab ice, rub it on your face. That's what I do. It feels great. Yeah, that's what I do too. Grab a couple ice cubes. Yeah. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. I'm going to have to go to my brother's or something. Yeah. Well, uh, did you see, did you uh, check out Nick's stuff? No. You friggin, all the automations were messed up. How? They're all just, they're all wrong. They're all the old ones somehow. Oh my God, man. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. They're all the old automations. And then D's budget was set to fucking $40 a day. You're fucking joking. No, I'm dead serious. Bro. Because she first messaged me. She's like, how much are we supposed to be spending? And I checked and her accounts were like 10, 10, 10, 10. How is that possible? I don't know. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. That's fucking brutal. So bad. Doing so good this week. We'll just uh reduce the spend for her. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else good or yeah, everything else is good for the most part. But I mean we can't be having these uh mistakes, you know. Yeah, no, honestly. So that's for that shit. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll finish out uh this week and I don't know, probably not gonna move forward with you doing the service delivery. You might you might be able to do something else like call them leads or something, but uh I don't think it's fully gonna work out with the service delivery and stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah. I mean, is what it is. We'll still keep you a part of the team and you can still do some calling and stuff like that. But as far as the service delivery, we can't be having these crucial mistakes, you know, spending yeah, more I mean, time fucking up the onboard. I honestly thought I was doing fine. I didn't I didn't even realize all these mistakes I was making. It's pretty shitty. Yeah. No, it's all worries, but uh yeah. So I just wanted to let you know that um we're going to Putacana to celebrate the end of the year. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
as you can tell, we're back in Toronto. It's around 7.45. I got to the hotel like two hours ago. I just woke up from a 45 minute nap. Parker just texted me and said he landed like 15 minutes ago. So our hotel is very, very close to Pearson Airport. He should be here anytime now. So I'm just waiting for his arrival. debut to the channel I guess uh, tell the people who you are and sort of like what you do at versatile agency yeah so um, kind of all in one just an ad specialist basically I run the marketing kind of automations operations for all the service delivery for all the real estate agents teams um, and yeah I kind of just work along with you and making the whole agency better What's your favorite part about working at Versatile Agency? There's a few things for sure. I think one is it's kind of like going to going to work with your best friend. Like if you're at McDonald's, work with your best friend, everything just feels so fun. We have just have a great culture here, honestly. Um, second of all, I think the business model is absolutely great. I love working with the real estate agents. They're so friendly and chill and, and a lot of them kind of get along with each other. Uh, and then yeah, thirdly, I just love marketing and, and making leads happen and, and making some money for some realtors. Awesome. You fired up for Punta tomorrow? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to Punta, baby. Just arrived in Punta Cana. It's 5.30, we spent about an hour by the pool. We're gonna go out for dinner tonight. I think we're hitting up the sushi bar. So we'll see you guys at dinner. Lost the bet during dinner. Get her down, feel a shot. Look her in. <laughs> Lost another bet. Here we fucking go. <laughs> so I made it back home. We had an absolute phenomenal time in Punta Cana. We didn't film a whole lot. What you saw on that first day is basically what we did every single day. Uh, we woke up had phenomenal breakfast, we sat by the pool, we ate a phenomenal dinner every single day, different dinners as far as Asian food, French food, Mexican food, they're all five-star Michelin dinners. Um, then later that night, we went to the lobby bar, we partied, we watched uh, all the great entertainment they had at Breathless Punta Cana. So we didn't want to make that trip fully about business. I didn't want to have the camera out 24 seven, you know, recording B-roll, getting clips of us by the pool, getting clips of us out partying. Um, so we made it more just about me and Parker being in the moment, enjoying the end of 2023 and just kind of chatting about our goals for 2024. So if you like this video, do me a favor, subscribe, like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.